Welcome back, viewers. This is near right in front of this asshole. Let's go on and buy my house. I currently have 8,000 gold, which is just enough to buy it, along with all the furnishing. Lydia, what the fuck do you think you're doing? I'd like to decorate my house. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Now, when furnishing your house, you can choose to either have an alchemy lab, at least for this one, or a children's bedroom. Very well. For now, I'm so going with the children's the bedroom. You your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Dining room. Anything else you'd like to purchase? Living room. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Kitchen. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And children's bedroom. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? If you choose the alchemy lab, you will lose 500 gold and enjoy your visit. Yeah. Also lose the uh, children's bedroom. So let's go check out my house. The goal for this episode, by the way, viewers, is to make it all the way over to Dawnguard. Well, first things first. Hey there, little one. Here you go. Have a piece of gold. Oh, thank you. Divine. Bless your kind heart. Why are you it's begging? It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... since mom. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. I could adopt you. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? Yeah, right here in Winterhold. Or wow. White Run. Are you... Are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? I'm sure. Yes. Daughter. Thanks, Mama. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. So, if I hadn't have already gotten the achievement by adopting her, you will get an achievement for adopting someone. There you go. Shame, isn't it? Now let's continue on to my house. Which is... Excuse me, Miss Your Guard. Right here, Freeze Home. And not to reuse a joke that everybody uses, it's called that because it's a breeze to get. Ha ha ha, bad, bad, bad joke. Anyways, fully furnished, we furnished, we get our cooking pots, uh, dining table, some cabinets, and here's the children's bedroom, which, after adopting a kid, they will start leaving things in this bedside chest. Things most, mostly they leave ingredients. Up here is Lydia's bedroom. Why is it Lydia's bedroom? It's because... It's everything I could have hoped for. I have a family again. I... I can't thank you enough. Well, don't get too used to seeing me around the place, little one. I'm, I'm a freaking adventurer. May take me a while to get back here. Anyways, this is our bedroom, and this chest right here is where I'm going to be leaving all the dragon bones that I get. Which I currently do not have any. By the way, you notice how I have a mammoth tusk. If you can run into a if you can run in and find a mammoth tusk, 
whether you kill a mammoth, find it in a shop, or pickpocket it off of someone like I did, hold on to it and come back here. Because... Come to chat uh, with nope, you are not who I need to talk to. Nope, you're not who I need to talk to. You are who I need to talk to. I'm going to buy the banner You mentioned yeah, trading caravan. Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Why not? Reputation mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. They're looking to become a merchant. And I'll pass. I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth tusk. Easier said than done. Hmm, maybe I can help. What do you need? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Well, I so happen to have a mammoth this tusk right here. Gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Oh, well, there we go. By helping her out, she increases your speech stat a little bit, and I've been sitting on a level or two for a little while. So... Let's see. There we go. Health at 200. Very nice. I got two perks to waste. Let's see. Can I? As a matter of fact, I can. Now I got 40% extra damage with one-handed skill. I'm still at 66, so I can't get the next thing in there. Uh, let's see. I do believe I already have my pickpocketing. Nope, not quite yet. So. There we go, I got my pickpocketing completely maxed out. In the success rate, anyways. Next thing that I'll be getting once pickpocketing is up there is perfect touch. Because that's all I really need off of pickpocketing to be able to steal armor and weapons off of enemies. It'll make fights so much easier. Now then, if we come in here, we get uh, to show off the speech stat. There's one thing that you may want to look work towards. Merchant can sell any type of item to any merchant. I do believe this also includes stolen items. So yeah, you may want to keep that in mind. My alchemy went up a little bit. I stole a bunch of ingredients from the alchemy stores, so after eating all of those it went up a little bit. And my enchanting smithing are just about at the same place, so there we go. It's time to go take a take a little wander over to the Dongard. Let's see. Actually, you know what? While I still have it, I need to nope. Where is it? There we go. I want to actually go on and do this. Since I told him that I'd bring the claw back to him. Then it'll be going over to the Dawn Guard. Now, it's like I was saying, the order that I'll be doing things in, I will be going from the Dawn Guard, from doing the Dawn Guard missions. This includes completing both the Vampire and if there is the Dawn Guard themselves missions as well. In other words, if there's a split mission path that you can only take one, I'll be completing both of them and continue off of the Vampire Dawn Guard mission. Then I'll be going to do the Companion missions, then brother, then the Brotherhood of Steel, then the Dark Brotherhood, then Thieves Guild, My sister Camilla then, uh, happy to help you. 
Yeah, it's uh... an ornament, solid gold. Oh wait, you mean this cloth? <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. All right, and also, by the way, viewers, as you can see, I am using a steel dagger. I was hoping to have an elven dagger by now, but a steel dagger will work just as well. As a bit of test, let me show you this. This is on normal difficulty. Power attack with 15 times damage, instant kill. Reload. This is, by the way, like I said, normal difficulty. Let's upgrade it. Everything in the game, uh, ev everything in the game, whenever you increase the difficulty, will have more health and defense. So let's pull it all the way up to master difficulty, the hardest difficulty. Still, one shots. It's yeah. This is why I waited to get. Uh, this, this is so. This is why I waited to level up. It's just that way I could immediately get the 15 times base damage. And considering I always power attack. I'm actually technically getting 15.5 base damage. And when I do the Dark Brotherhood missions, I will get 30.5 base damage, or times base damage. It's all basically amounting to me becoming a god. And this is like th this is with a steel sword, so it's not as good as say something else that you could potentially get. So now time to go seek out the leader for the Dawn Guard, in which I forgot to deactivate the other mission. Yay! There we go. So it's all the way over there. This is the this is another reason why I decided to discover this Dragon Shrine location, even though I am going to end up having a dragon spawn. Um, this is pretty much the quickest location that you can potentially get to get there. And besides, I need to kill some dragons. I've got a lot of dragon shouts to be unlocked. Let's see if he spawns in. I guess he's not gonna spawn in. Huh. Well, that works for me, but just in case I'm gonna have my axe of coldness equipped. Kind of careful around this part, viewers, because there are some nasty enemies that can spawn. Especially now that I'm past level 10, there should be vampires running around during the night as well. A lot more often than, say, when I was still level 1. By the way, bit of a shrine. And this is a case in point of nasty enemies just kind of wandering around. This is a tier 2 conjurer who summoned a freaking frost astronaut on me and is now running away like a little bitch come here or not God damn it eat these fuck ears fuck ears I mean to say that Fine, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. I'm done. I am not gonna sit here and fight you. I will, however, be back 
soon enough. But for now, I'm not gonna sit here and waste all of my potions trying to kill one conjurer. Why? Um. What? Why? Um. Why exactly are you telling me to go to Riften? <sighs> Bethesda with their strange, strange map marker placements. I've got a simple solution for this, however. A very, very simple solution for this. I'm not walking all the way over to freaking Riften where I can just take a sudden right and still get to my location. Alright. You want me to go here? Very well. I'll plop a freaking waypoint marker right down next to it. It'll be a hell of a lot more accurate than that waypoint. You dare challenge me? No? Okay. Now, rolling is kind of weird. You can roll for an infinite amount of time whenever you... Not for an infinite amount of time, but you can do a constant roll by holding the button if you have a one-handed weapon out. If you have a sheath, you can only do a single roll. If you have what... If you have something taking up both hands, you'll only do a single roll. Rolling in this game is kind of an awkward thing, but it does make traversing in stealth mode a lot easier, because, or at least a lot quicker, because at least with this, you're not slowly inching along at three seconds a mile, or a mile every three days. Alright. So pretty well much just straight this way. I know it's along the mountain somewhere. There. Fuck. Bring it, motherfucker. Okay. Bring it. Did not help. God damn it. Fucking bear. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with bear, with the exception of that first bear. All other bears are essentially tier 2 to tier 3 enemies. In which, with my current status, we'll be taking jack shit for damage. even with a two-handed weapon. Come on, game, just load up. I want to get to the Dawn Guard. And, of course, I'm spawned all the way back here. Yay! make a very stupid bear pun right now, but I'm just not in the mood. Alright, map. Give me a freaking marker. But it's just way past that, that way I'll have a defined area to go to. I'm not even going to bother stealth rolling my way over here. I'm just going to go. 
fuck the bears, fuck the mountain lions, fuck the conjurers, I am just going and ain't nothing gonna stop me. Except for maybe a dragon. Those guys are very fucking persistent. And fast. And persistent. Okay, that was just an elk. I'm about to go, oh shit, don't tell me I got something really nasty waiting for me. Oh shit. Oh. Healing. There we go. You, Mr. Bear! Oh, come on! Two bears? Really? Fuck oh, you, game! Come on, I just want to go to the Dawn Guard! What is so wrong about that? What is so freaking wrong about wanting to join the Dawn Guard and eradicating the Vampire Menace? Going any more nasty enemies going right into my uh, right into my gonna get raped area. Hopefully, I can make it this time. I just gotta kind of finagle around until I find where that waypoint is wanting me to go to. I do believe it's up here. Against this mountain here. Just gotta get aimed right. Okay, this way. Well, I'm just about on top of it. <sighs> Eight finding waypoints that don't have waypoints up. It's all because goddamn asshole sat here and gave me a terrible waypoint which sits sitting here telling me to go, oh hey, by the way, you need to go way over to Riften first. Now, assuming I can get far enough away I can fast travel to the location that I just discovered. And get a waypoint that will actually point me in the right direction. That bear is getting killed by something. I don't know what. Here we go. Now then, can I get a waypoint that's not pointing to Riften? <sighs> no, apparently not. Alright, fine. I'll do it your way, game. I will fucking fast travel to Riften. While there are enemies around. God damn it. Cave Bear is getting raped. You know, I really kind of hate games that do this, and it seems to happen mostly in Bethesda games. 
Like, almost every Bethesda game has some sort of problem with the waypoint system. Like, Fallout, and Fallout 3, even with all the patches and stuff, hasn't fixed the, fixed the waypoint problem where it'll tell you to trap around half of the uh, capital wastes just to get to one area that you could easily just walk a straight line to. Okay, you're telling me to go out this door now. Now let's go to where I need to go. I've wasted 25 minutes trying to get to one area. Ah. So headache inducing. Go. No wasting fucking time. No going, where the hell are you telling me to go? To the actual place? Good. I'm not gonna fast travel because then it'll just sit here and tell me to go to uh oh you need to you need to go to Riften in order to get this waypoint to do what you want it to do. Bullshit. Sitting here in the area, why don't you just Show me where the waypoint leads. Don't have me trap all the way over to Riften just to get here. Fucking bullshit. I don't care if that's someone trying to attack me or not, I'm just going. I heard I want to get this out of the way and I'm going to do play something else for a little while. Fucking wolves! Out of my way! Take your pelts though because I can always use more leather for getting my smithing stat higher. Which reminds me, I need to check something. Smithing. Okay. Advanced armors. Crafted scale plates. Craft glass armor. Craft dragon armor and dragonborn weapons. And craft Daedric armor. Now, for some reason, dragon armor is labeled higher than Daedric armor, but from what I've heard, Daedric armor is generally better. Hey, Mr. Bunny. See, how hard was it to have this show up? How fucking hard was this? Fuck's sake. Alright, let's get to the Dawn Guard, accept the first mission, and I'm gonna save and quit for the rest of the day. Possibly for the rest of the week, considering tomorrow I gotta go to the doctor. Don't care about you. That guy really is only there to serve the purpose of if you're coming here without being formally invited by the Dawn Guard, or if you have declined their offer. Excuse me, Mr. Bun Bun. But anyways, it's like I was saying, once I get to a certain point in this mission, I am going to make a alternate save, and check out if there is a uh, alternate quest line in this place. 
Because I know you get the option to turn down becoming a vampire lord, and I think that gives you the alternate quest line to come here and actually do stuff. All right, Frick. Let's hurry up. So who are you? What do you want? I'm here to join the Dongar. Blah blah blah. blah. What can I do to help? Blah blah Tell blah. Me about some cave the vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Oh. Tell them. Tell them about what was it? Dim Hollow. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adolf was sure. Vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isra. That's good enough for me. There. Got started awakening. So I'll see y'all next time, viewers. Bye.